Niko sawa? Madam, you okay? You don't have sound? We're live. Okay. Uh, Governor. Uh, nimesema asante sana tuko hapa Mombasa nikiwa with my fellow governor uh, Professor Chepkoni of the great county of Kericho the ones who make that wonderful Kericho tea nitaongea kwa ufupi alafu nitamwita ndugu yangu pia aweze kuongea kwa ufupi mimi niko na point nne jambo la kwanza ni kwamba mimi niko upande huu wa pwani katika ziara zangu za kutana na viongozi wa maendeleo chap chap katika harakati ya kujenga chama chetu ambacho ni chama cha wananchi. Tunawaambia kwamba kuna vyama ambavyo vinaungwa kutafuta viti, vyama ambavyo vinaungwa kutafuta mamlaka chetu ni chama kilungwa kuwaletea wananchi riziki yao na maendeleo ambayo wanapaswa kuyapata. Jambo la pili ningependa kuguzia ni kwamba kuna shida katika kaunti zetu. Ukweli usemwe. Sisi magavana tumelia kwa muda mrefu kuongea kuhusu fedha ambazo hatujapatiwa. Tayari tumepata orodha tukaambiwa kwamba tutazipata pesa tuliambiwa tutazipata pesa wiki iliyopita ikapita tukaambiwa tena utazipata pesa hivi leo leo imefika tujapata pesa sasa tumeambiwa kwamba tutapata pesa hapo kesho inaonekana kuna mchezo wa pata potea na mimi ningependa kusema kwa niaba ndugu zangu magavana wengine maisha ni magumu hospitali zetu hazina madawa sasa tumewaambia watu wanaokuja hospitali waanze kunua sindano waanze kunua gloves vitu ambazo tunapaswa kuwapa wananchi huduma bila hao kuambiwa wanunue jambo la aibu sana na nchi yetu huwezi sema ni maskini kwa sababu kule serikali kuu imelipa mishahara inawalipa contractors inaelea vitu inaonekana kwamba totally mkazo ugatuzi mimi pia kusema kwamba tusipopata pesa wiki hii ikiwa kesho siku ya alamisi by john hatuna pesa basi inamaanisha kwamba kuanzia Jumatatu mimi kule Machakos nitaifunga kaunti yangu. Inamaanisha kwamba nitapunguza huduma ya afya, nitapunguza huduma zingine ambazo wananchi wanapata tuambia kaeni nyumbani kwa sababu hatuwezi kuhudumia bila madawa, hatuwezi kuhudumia bila watu ambao wanaweza kuatibu kwa sababu madaktari wengine wanaofanya kazi kwa loka mwa kaunti yangu hatujalipa miaka miezi, miezi, miezi saba na ni baba na mama mtu hajalipwa mshahara kwa sababu hakuna pesa. Na hizi pesa ni zile zetu zinakusanywa county, zinapelekwa serikali kuu lakini azirejeshi kwetu kama vile sheria inavyotaka. Jambo la tatu ni kusema kwamba sisi pia hata mimi mwenyewe nimesoma na nikaangalia. Nikaona hapa kuna mpango wa wananchi wabakie maskini. Kwa sababu maskini ni rahisi kutawaliwa. Matajiri waendelee kuwa matajiri, maskini waendelee kuwa mas, maskini. Kwa sababu unaponyima pesa county na county ndio wananchi wanaishi unaponyima wananchi huduma ya county kwa kupunguza pesa inamaanisha ya kwamba unataka wananchi waendelee kuwa maskini kwa ndio kisiasa uendelee kuwatawala kwa sababu mwenye njaa anatawaliwa na yule ambaye ameshiba and this is very dangerous because it's calling for a revolution in our country because already watu wako stressed vijana wana kazi akina mama wana pesa akina baba wajaona maendeleo sasa ukiwanyima pesa kwa county ndio mambo yaendelee pesa zinguku, zinguki inamaanisha ya kwamba we are opening ourselves in this country for disaster for a revolution of its kind and lastly mimi katika ziara zangu nimezunguka nilikuwa embu nikakuwa nyeri nikakuwa kiambu mukirinyaga nimezunguka nimekuwa hapa lamu jana kilifi nimetoka kilifi hivi sasa niko na mkutano hapa Mombasa na viongozi wote ambao naongea nao wanasema kwamba wanataka pesa ifike mashinani wanataka ajira na jambo la muhimu kwamba huku wanaongea hasa upande wa pwani kote ya kwamba kulikuwa na viwanda ambavyo vimefilisika kula wanaongea kuhusu korosho viwanda havipo na tunasema kwamba tunataka uongozi mpya wa nchi yetu ya Kenya wa viongozi wale wale wa kawaida tunataka nataka mambo mapya 2022 ndio tuweze kujenga kiwanda katika kila sub county ndio watu wetu wapate pesa kwa mfuko na tuweze kusonga mbele tumedanganywa tumechoka kabisa na hii mchezo unachezwa hata hakuna pesa kwa county ni huo mchezo wa kutoka 1960s ambao unaunga mkono wachache na wengine wanaumia kwa hivyo tunaomba kwenye nyekevu pesa ziingie na sio lazima zije zote hata kidogo kidogo inafaa 
lakini unatunyima miezi mitatu miezi minne hakuna ndururu tunapata hata nusu hata kuota atupati inamaanisha kwamba wewe una nia ya kugandamiza counties tuwe mahali pabaya so we are saying it is important we are able to receive our monies otherwise we have no option but to tell people stay at home you can't get health care you can't get the services that you deserve as citizens of Kenya and that is very bad for the politics of the ruling uh, government uh, currently basi hivi sasa namkaribisha ndugu yangu ambaye atatumia hizi microphone mtaweza kupiga aendelee kuongea kidogo mimi na yeye tumedungwa chanjo so at least we've been lucky enough to get vaccines double vaccines lakini wa Kenya watafikiwa lini maybe it's time we counties got our money so we can order vaccines for our people sababu naonekana huko juu hatujaliwi karibu ndugu uh, thank you very much uh, on behalf of the council of governors and on behalf of Kericho county i would like to confirm what my brother has said that indeed we have not received exchequer disbursements for the last three months. Consequently, services have suffered. We have not been able to pay contractors. We have not been able, able to, to, to pay salaries for workers. And if it continues, we want to say here that uh, we will discontinue service delivery because we have no option. When there is no money, there is nothing that we can do. So that is what I needed to say to top up what my brother said. Thank you. Asante kuna maswali yote? Ah kuna ndugu yetu pale apo microphone alafu ndugu yangu hapa na kakaangu hapa. Tuambie Media House na pia swali lako. mimi kwa majina naitwa Henry Amani na fanya kazi katika kituo cha Msenangu FM. Labda mheshimiwa, unahisi huu mchezo wa paka na panya umesababishwa na nini? Ah, uh, huu mchezo umesababishwa na mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba nchi yetu haina pesa za kutosha kwa sababu kama vile Uhuru Kenyatta rais wetu mpendo aliposema kwamba tumekuwa tukiiba ama wamekuwa akiiba kwa sababu sijakuwa nikiiba, hawa wamekuwa akiiba bilioni mbili kwa kila siku. Jambo la pili ni kwamba katika wizi huo pia uchumi umedidimia. Hatujasonga vizuri kwa sababu serikali iliyopo sasa wamekuwa na mvutano. Tumekuwa tukiona hii serikali ya Jubilee walisema wako pamoja lakini kweli hawako pamoja kwa sababu waliungana tu kutafuta viti siwe kuweza kuwasaidia wananchi. Kwa hivyo hii serikali ajuzi walisema ya kwamba that uh, the Jubilee government is the most fair government or the fairest government is the government that is fair to everybody in this country the jubilee government because whether you voted for it or you did not vote for it you are suffering everybody is suffering in this country as a result the other point is because we don't see a seriousness towards ugatuzi they don't believe in devolution they really don't believe and we are surprised because some of them were in counties because if you believed in devolution you would put emphasis first on devolution hata kama pesa ziko kwanza unalisha devolution alafu baadaye unalisha wengine Lakini you cannot say that the government is so broke that they have not had any money to do anything and yet we know uh, counties uh, national government wamelipa mishahara majeshi wamelipa polisi wamelipa mishahara our counties will not pay our people kwani watu wetu waliumbwa na shetani na our national government wakaumbwa na Mwenyezi Mungu hapana ni madharau to, to give it nicely politely ni madharau they do not respect and believe in devolution and if you play around with devolution you will see a revolution in this country my name is uh, Kevin Mutai from NTV. I'd just like to know, are all the 47 counties have all been affected? And if that is yes, are they also willing to discontinue their services? Thank you. It is county to county. But uh, as our chairman of uh, Council of Governors said the other day, we have no option but to discontinue our services. Because uh, how are you going to pay your doctors? How are you going to pay your nurses? How are you going to provide uh, medical care? We have to have austerity measures. And so... For us as governors, we've come out clearly and said we have no other option because we don't get our money three, four months. And the funny thing is we are about to go to uh, financial years. You come even the money they give us will be able to process. The financial year ends in six days. How are we going to process these monies? Yende kwa control of budget, yende wapi, tambua if misimefungwa, sijui nini miaribika. In other words, it is a game they are playing. 
It's a game. How do you give us money on the 24th? Bono hakutupatia hata kadogo. Whatever they had collected before they collect many much, they would have given us your kidogo last month, ama beginning of this month. Wanatupatia on the 24th, six days before end of the financial year, before systems close. They're joking. They think they're joking with governors, but they're joking with the electorate. They're joking with the children and mothers at home. How do you want to You want to add? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Toby Otum from Sand Express. Yesterday, uh, your counterpart, Kitui counterpart, she was on, uh, on KTN Live. She, 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 she said she is not supportive of this issue of discounting of, of, of services. Uh, it seems you are not reading from the same script. That is one. Secondly, on your first statement, you talked about popularizing your party in the coast region, in a tour. But there are two outfits you have come out. What is your comment about them? There's a merger of uh, Maja and also another alliance. What's your comment about that one? I think the first thing to say that each county has different uh, effects. Some counties are small. Maybe they have not been able to spend their money on development, so they have money left uh, to do whatever they want. Lakini zingine zetu sisi, pesi yanakuja tunatumia, wanainchi wanapata maji, wanapata barabara. So county to county. But generally, I can tell you over 75% of counties will not be able to operate. I can tell you there will be a crisis in this country, but it seems that the government of Uru Kenyatta responds to crisis. And I know it's not Uhuru Kenyatta, because when you talk to him, you see he believes in devolution. But in the system, Kunawatu Badu and Amini central government, Badu and Yuiko, without knowing it changed to national government and county governments. Mimi outfits zingine sijui. Mimi siyezi kuangea kusu other outfits. Mina ongea kusu maendeleo chap chap. So my job is to convince you so you can become a member. Wachana hizi outfits zingine za kutafuta viti. Hii ni outfit ya kutafutia wanainchi mkate. Kutafutia wanainchi pesa kwa mfuko. Yes, finally. Okay, doktari. Uh, my name is Maita Masha from Senangu FM. Pengine utuambie, county ya Machakos inadai shilingi ngapi kutoka serikali kuu. Na ni hudu magani asa specific ambazo zitatiriwa na pesa hizi ambazo wamjapewa. Sisi atujapata karibu zaidi ya bilioni mbili. Hazafika. Over 2 billion shillings. Unakuta ya kwamba si tuko na Machakos level 5 ambayo pia ni uh, referral hospital. We are supposed to get money for the referral hospital. Has jafika. So unakuta ya kwamba tunapeana uduma kwa other counties. Tunanyima watu wetu. Kwa hivu unakuta ya kwamba afya itakuwa jambo la kwanza. Afya, health, will be one of the services that will have to shut down. Because you cannot continue uh, hospitals when you don't have medicines to give people. You cannot be doing exercises in futility when you don't have uh, medicines to inject people. Mtu wanakuja ni mgonjwa, you cannot take them to theater, you watch them die. Not because you can't do it, because you already owe suppliers who are not willing to give you any more, because umekua ukewambia for six months, takulipa, 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 but only the, the money we've been getting is only to offset salaries. Na kuomba pesa hapa na hapa. But I think counties are feeling what got, uh, Kenyans are feeling. Wa Kenya sasa imekua unaomba huyu, unalipa huyu. Unafuliza huyu ndi ukafulize yule mwingine. That's, 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 our can, that's where we've sunk to. Naitua, naitua Bonfast Msangi kutoka K24. Pengine eh, uongozi wenu wa uh, maugavana, wa magavana humu nchini, mweza, kuwa kikao, mweza kufanya kikao na serekali. Ge kuwa shiria kwenu kwa kumazungumzo leo hapa, kuna shiria kwamba hamjaweza kupata natija yote kutokana na mazungumzo yale yaliyokuwa yanaendelezwa na pia vile je nyinyi mkweza kuongea na kupo na uongozi wenu inashiria kwamba pengine uongozi wenu hauwakilishi kamilifu ama ni vipi na tumeongea na hii jambo la kwanza limeanza hii shida ilianza kwa katu gatuzu ilianza 2013 ni tabia ambayo wamezoea mtadu mtadu inakaa hiyo ndio tabia yao mtadu so tumeongea nao tumewakilisha Lakini sasa tumeambia rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta tunataka kutana na yeye. Tumemwandikia barua, tunatarajia wiki ijayo tuweza kaa chini Uhuru Kenyatta tumwambie kimeumana. Kimeumana. Na kimeumana huko juu kimeumana mpaka kule chini. And it is not right. It is actually not right to deny money and services to our people. It is entrenching pa poverty. I do not understand the economic thinking currently being run in this country. Because if you want to grow a country, you grow it through consumer spending. Una grow through government spending. 
you get consumerism businesses grow zinaandika watu kazi pesa inazungukwa kwa mfuko unakuta watu kwa soko pesa inazunguka lakini hapo ukiangalisha kila mtu kila mtu anasema amesota Kenya mtu amesota Rais Mwai Kibaki alikuwa anasimama baada ya sherehe anasema na mujienjoy huru cannot say that ati mujienjoy na nini sababu there is no money in circulation so it's about getting money into circulation which is what is vital for this country any lady want to ask a question ha tumesema asante ha okay nini ba nini tenda kwa sekana ile ta counties pala tu bikie yuyu ni bikie bandu tona kana tale yako ni wambesa tibikia uni wiyo imaanisha kanani tu ubinga sipitali situ ni 